Hello everyone, my name is Shubham Kejriwal and today in this video we are talking about the Snapdragon 820 processor which has already been launched by Qualcomm and we will be taking a look at some of the specifications of that particular processor. So firstly talking about it, I should firstly let you know that already a device is there, the LED VLE Max Pro which actually supports that uh, uh, processor, the Snapdragon 820 processor already. So yes, that pretty much turned many heads towards this device uh, who, which is from a very small Chinese manufacturer. But not talking about it, we have some more devices which are exactly speculated to have this processor in the future. So firstly on the first uh, topmost uh, point we have this uh, Xiaomi Mi 5 which is highly rumored to come with this processor. Secondly we have the LG G5 also which is again uh, speculated to come with this processor and is definitely a really nice thing. So on number 3 we also have the Samsung Galaxy S7 which is confirmed to have the Snapdragon 820 processor uh, with it. So not all over the globe, it is not going to serve all over the globe with this processor but definitely in some, some parts like the USA it is of course coming with the 820 processor and, and it has been of course confirmed. This processor gives a uh, download speed of up to 600 megabits per second and an upload speed of 150 megabits per second. Other than that, I would also like to mention that this is a quad core processor which would be supporting like the clock speed of up to 2.2 gigahertz. So of course, this is a disappointment that this is a quad core processor because the last one was a uh, octa core processor and uh, again with a clock speed of 2.2 gigahertz at the max. But this is a quad core processor but it has 64 bit processing and computing unit so that is again uh, an upgradation and a downgrading at the same time also this processor would be supporting up to 25 megapixels of camera and that is again a downgrade from the last processor which supported up to 48 megapixels of camera though this processor internally supports up to 4k video recording and also supports a display which can be up to 4k so yes that is definitely a really nice thing and along with that you can also have a secondary display uh, uh, attached to your device uh, which is supporting the Snapdragon 820 processor which can be of 1080p or 4K display. So yes, they have given this support and I think that this is a really needed pro uh, support for many of those geeks out there. Not to mention is that this uh, this processor would of course support up to 4GB of RAM and also it would be coming with Adreno 530 GPU which is the uh, successive flagship uh, series from the Adreno 430 GPU. So yes, of course you are having the top of the top notches uh, of the processing and the GPUs all over around and I think that this is a really nice thing. So now let us talk about some of the benchmark results which we had from this processor. So the Samsung Exynos 7420 processor which is considered to be one of the most uh, powerful processors out there right now has a score of about 93,000 on the anti 2 benchmark results. Whereas on, a, on the other side this processor, the 820 processor along with 4GB of RAM at, uh, based on DDR4 uh, on the LETV LE Max Pro gave us a score of 132,000 and that according to me is really really very appreciable for the company. So yes with that said I would like to pretty much conclude with my video in the end I would like to say that this is definitely a very powerful processor and should take up anything that we, sh uh, that we would throw at it right now and this should definitely make the gaming experience on the phones really much better. So yes with that said we finally come to the end of this video I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.